The Codex Ephraimi Rescriptus, the third of the four great unsealed manuscripts of the New Testament, and the last containing the Book of Revelation, differs from the Codices Sinaiticus and Alexandrinus in important respects. The Codex is a palimpsest, which is a manuscript that has been reused by erasing or effacing the original text and replacing it with a new one. The original text was the Bible, including both testaments. The works of St. Ephraim the Syrian were written over the biblical text, hence the Codex's name. Like the Codex Alexandrinus, this Codex is placed into the 5th century due to paleographic and other technical considerations. The dating appears to be based more upon what is assumed to be missing than the text itself. The overlying text of St. Ephraim is believed to have been written in the 12th century. The Codex Ephraimi Rescriptus is not complete, and the underlying text of the Bible, as might be imagined, is difficult and in some cases impossible to decipher. Approximately one-third of the New Testament cannot be read at all. The original biblical text was not discovered until the late 16th or early 17th century. It was Constantine Tischendorf who first reconstructed the text in the mid-19th century. The origin of the physical specimen itself is unclear. There are undocumented claims of the disposition of the Codex beginning in the mid-15th century. However, the only genuinely documented claim is the procurement of the document by the National Library of France at the end of the 16th century. The 1878 catalog of the French National Library merely states that the manuscript came from the Catherine de' Medici Library with no further elaboration regarding its provenance. Like Sinaiticus and Alexandrinus, the Ephraimi Codex can only be firmly placed at a much later date than that claimed from paleographical analysis. Chain of custody places the manuscript no earlier than the end of the 16th or the beginning of the 17th century, when it was donated to the National Library of France after the death of Catherine de' Medici. In summary, we can draw the following conclusions about the provenance of John's Revelation. The earliest firm provenance for the Apocalypse, based upon the three codices, is 1602, the date Ephraimi Rescriptus was bound. Both Sinaiticus and Alexandrinus have later chain of custody dates. The Book of Revelation is found in other manuscripts of the New Testament. The three codices addressed thus far, Sinaiticus, Alexandrinus, and Ephraimi, are termed unseals. Unseals are manuscripts where the text is written exclusively in majuscule or uppercase letters. Currently, there are over 300 New Testament unseals with 12 containing the Book of Revelation, in whole or in part. According to the Institute for New Testament Textual Research in Munster, Germany, which maintains a catalog of the unseals, every unseal but one has been assigned a date paleographically. The dates range from the 4th to the 10th centuries. Of course, chain of custody dating tells an entirely different story. The Ephraimi Rescriptus remains the oldest manuscript with the revelation of John using chain of custody. The unseals cannot place the Book of Revelation earlier than 1602.